Hey guys, we wanted to take a couple seconds out of our daily video to wish Kaylee's cousin, Maya Gratton, it is Maya's 11th birthday. She's Kaylee's cousin and we just wanted to say happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday Maya from Finn and Chino and Tex and all of us. Hey guys welcome to today's video today we are starting at a regular time a normal time we got to stay in bed and rest i love staying in bed in the morning um but today we have i have something super fun plan and i hope you guys are going to enjoy it but first let's get on with our day um, last night we went shopping again and gabby got this adorable oh. oh gabby got this adorable beanie for not beanie bandana for get. molly get get uh and sophie Got this amazing toy for her dog. Did you put Sophie's treats in there? No, I put mine. Oh, you They're should. They're impossible to get out. So basically, Sophie bought this toy at the get dollar it. store. Get it, get it, get it. It's supposed to stick to the ground, and you can never get it. They are supposed to never be able to get it unstuck. My dog will. Yeah, everyone's interested. Everyone is here. Everyone cares. What's happening? Molly, Daisy is an observer. She is the puppy to see, let somebody else work it out first and then she'll come. All right, so Molly has officially figured out that there are treats in there and she can lick them and she is interested. I guess the only way is that if you have a strong jaw, you bite down on it and crush the treats. Oh, that's a good idea. You would make you would make such a good dog, Gabby. She says you should uh, crush the toy and crush the treat. That was the smartest dog breed in the world. So she hopefully. is. The funny thing about Daisy is that she's lazy. Everybody says Dalmatians are an active breed. She's lazy. Some Dalmatians are active. I mean, Ruby and Molly are way more active than a Dalmatian. I would say she's so lab-like. She's exactly like a lab. When Sophie feeds her, if she's full and she wants to walk away from the bowl, if Molly is standing there waiting and looking at her food, she will not leave it. She will not leave it because she does not want Molly to have her food. Even if it means she has to scarf it down and fill her belly so full, she will eat the, every last drop so that no other dog gets any. She's like, fine, I'll have a donut. Um, this is so a donut. Oh, it's a unicorn. You don't have any donut toys. That's gonna keep Molly there all day. Yeah, that is gonna keep Molly there all day. So, you did not eat all your hay. What is with that? And your eyes worse than normal. And she didn't dump her bucket. She doesn't drink all of her buckets. She drinks most of one, all of one, and sometimes spills it. I don't know if it's because she, she hears a noise and jumps. <laughs> she doesn't like yeah oh my goodness she didn't eat everything i'm we wondering they never, never ate everything if you gave them too much yeah she eats everything that we give her every night she's angry a little bit left. she's angry because she doesn't like what we've done to her food <laughs> she doesn't like it smells good is that the stuff that's strong yeah no it's um so the powder smells really yummy it's an anti-inflammatory oh I, I smelled it but it doesn't seem to have done any difference I mean, she only had one dose of it, and I don't think she even ate it all. Gracie loves it. Gabby thinks you love Mom. it. Mom. You've got dirt on your face. So pretty. Oh. I didn't get shots. You didn't get shots? Oh. <laughs> so Gabby bought this at the dollar store last night. She said she's taking it off before Gracie can ruin it because it's going around Chino's neck. But we should get all of our Christmas stuff out. Oh, the ones going around the pole. <laughs> She's looking at me like, what did you do to my food? But look at I see it. her tooth looks worse now. She just gets different. But she never, I never, never used to see her teeth hanging out the side. Anyway, she hates her grain. She hates that I put this powder in it. And she's going to spend 17 hours searching through the powder, searching through the grain to get some without powder. 
Yeah. How about you just hand feed her? It's not worth it to put powder in her food if she's yeah. not going to eat it. So, I don't know if you guys can see. Can you see in her eye? I've already wiped some of it away. She has shavings in her eye almost every single morning. Right up in her eye. If Penny were allergic to shavings, what would be another thing besides straw that I could put in her in her stall? I hate straw. Straw is annoying. Um, but also this morning I brushed her and she had like seven little marks where she like it looked kind of like this but I brushed it out see how the hair is like up like that she has part spots like that all around her body which I feel like maybe she's allergic to the shavings which some horses are and that's okay what's the matter with you pen and this is the side she lays on most often and for the longest time this is the side that's the most dirty this is the eye that's the most affected the other eye is hardly bad at all yeah, am I on the right track, Penny? Am I? All right, let's go get you some hay. Hi. Okay, so you guys know how when you get married, you promise to love and obey your husband. You promise to love and obey your wife. I feel like love and obey are totally different things. Love and obey. You can love somebody, but I don't think that obeying them is a sign of love. I think obeying them, especially for an animal, is more a sign of fear. It's more a sign well, of fear. I Maybe loyalty. True. So, then it got me thinking about how we always do a uh, does our horse love us challenge or does our dog love us challenge. And it made me start thinking about like how we do it and how is it, is that really reflective of if they love us? And I came up with an idea. I came up with a really good idea. So, uh, when we call the dogs or we call the horses sometimes, I feel like they go running to whoever calls the loudest or the sternest or the strongest, which changes the love from love to obedience and I want to eliminate that. So today we're going to do that who does my dog choose challenge. Who's my dog choose challenge and we're going to eliminate all the whoa we're going to eliminate all the Sound. all the yeah we're going to make sure that our dogs that don't feel intimidated or controlled or overpowered by us. We're going to let them choose so, who they love no matter what. So boy like this doesn't mean talking. No. Well, wait. First I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Okay. So I have two blindfolds here. We are going to use these. I want the little one. I want the little one. So basically I want to close our eyes so that the dogs don't feel overpowered or like they have to listen to you. I you want, only do that because you know that border collies look into the eyes of the humans. Yeah, I think that you can intimidate or you can make people obey you by using other things besides your voice or I besides besides love. I want to see if your dog really loves you and Hi. wants to go to you. I feel like in Hi. our life <laughs> that even though I don't take care of uh, the puppies hardly at all, I feel like they both recognize me as someone that they love and want to be with without feeling though they have to obey me. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing that dogs want to have to obey you because they do have to obey sometimes. But I feel like they really have a genuine love for me versus love and obey, if that makes sense. Okay, so the rules are is that you just have to sit there on the ground with your hands behind your back and your eyes covered and I'm going to release your dog and we're going to see what happens. Okay? I mean, let's be real, this dog doesn't ever obey. <laughs> okay, so how it's going to work is that I'm going to let one dog out at a time. The girls are going to sit with your legs. Cross yeah, crisscross applesauce. Criss -cross applesauce. Hands in your lap. See, my kids know where it's at. I know, school. Yeah. Hold on. How come you have to talk louder when you can't see? Because you can't see if anybody's looking at you. So they're not going to know which dog I let out first. All right, so we're still waiting for Gabby to get ready. Story of our life is happening. Do you want us to fall off? Do you want me to help you? No, I'm good. I am independent. So I'm going to let one dog out. Are you ready, Gabby? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm about to release the beast. No noise. We're just going to see. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Puppy. Never seen a puppy so quiet before. 
This puppy has gone between you guys, kind of, and this puppy has chosen. You take off your blindfold. <laughs> take off your blindfold. Put your put your things on. All right, which puppy next? Well, they're gonna guess this one. Don't come to me. I'm not your friend. It's choosing me. I know. I know. <laughs> this puppy has chosen. Oh no! 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 Close your eyes because oh she brings you a toy. Cause you never know. It could be the same dog. It could be a different dog. Come here, bed, bed, Molly, bed. Okay, so the girls are gonna actually switch spots this time. See if it makes a difference. <laughs> Clearly, they cannot see. Okay, Chris Pratt. So Gabby, you have the whole count. Move Gabby's side. Okay, okay, Gabby, move to the, yeah, okay. Everybody, crisscross applesauce. I'm ready. Crisscross applesauce. Puppy is back. jumping out of my hands, okay. <laughs> Don't make noise, Gabby, that's cheating. Aww. <laughs> she loves you, Gabby. Aww. Spot. No, she get she checked you guys both out. She went to both of you. Wait till you see the footage. How dare she go to Sophia? She did. She went. She looked at you. Went to Sophie. Looked at you. Do you guys remember a time before we got Molly where Ruby was in love with Gabby? That they did everything together. Gabby thinks that it's the spot. She's like, I'm staying in this spot. There's no trading. If you're wondering where Sophie is, she could not handle the laughter. She's gone to the washroom. We're taking a washroom break. All right, we are ready for number three or four or whatever it is. We're on number four, I think. Uh, four. All right, let's get ready. Bye. Just wait till she chooses. She has chosen. <laughs> you can tell who that is. <laughs> she loves her girl. Oh, that was beautiful. All right, so we're gonna do a round two, and this time it's gonna be me and Gabby. Some pretty mind. stiff competition. Sophie's gonna be in charge of videoing. So you oh, got a video. Can't you just put it in the same spot? No, it doesn't work as good. So you're gonna video, and you're gonna you're gonna release the hounds. Okay, Gabby. Okay, so I'm going to be doing this one first. So yeah. Maybe choosing something else. Okay, it touched Gabby. It's Gabby. Uh -huh. Amazing! <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Toby. Okay. okay. I feel like Macy is just trying to get to the top of the couch. Oh, she is. <laughs> Choose someone. Going back in the dining room. Yay! He chose me! Oh, <laughs> that hurts! <laughs> Hi, Ruby. Good girl. Go. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, you want to get scratchy? Yeah, there's so much baby! Hi, baby! When I get the scratchiest material. You want to change spots or you still think it's just spots? I'm good. <laughs> okay, last one! world people believe that love and obedience are one and the same and I honestly don't believe that I believe that love is respect and kindness I don't believe that love is obedience I think it comments about how I need to be more aggressive I need to make sure that ever, all of the horses know that I'm the boss of them and obedience to me does not necessarily equate to love for me love is being a partnership to me love is discussing things and talking things through it's not demanding that somebody obey you and I use hey, those same principles with my family and my children as I do with my animals basically I think that the only thing that this challenge showed was that all of our dogs love us they love us all of us probably equally i have a question for you and this is going to be a hard question but i want you to answer truthfully honest to god from the bottom of your heart your deep black heart no just joking <laughs> just kidding gabby is a very heartfelt person in so many ways she expresses it differently and i have so many examples of how hard she loves but anyways do you feel that daisy loves sophie more than molly loves you Less than Molly loves you, or the same? I have no clue. You have no idea? That's that's a cop out. If you had to guess, which one would you think? Molly loves me more. You think Molly that's loves you more? Guess. That's what you would guess? Okay, same question. Do you think that Daisy loves you more, the same, or less than Molly loves Gabby? Molly hates me the way because I gave her a bath. Because back. Molly loves Gabby more because... Like, Gabby spends more time with Molly. Well, Daisy just runs around playing with, playing with Molly. You toot it. It's pink. One thing is for sure, I think you got the exact right puppy for you. And I think you got the exact right puppy for you. And I think I got the right exact, exact puppy for me. Huh? <laughs> I know, but this dog is a family dog. This dog literally loves every single one of us. Don't She's you? Mr. Steal your girl. Oh. Yeah. Can't it. Let's do it. Tip it. Don't tip it on Gabby, though. Oh, oh hello, girls. Are you ready for lunch? Here. Wait, I can do it. I can do it, Mom. Gabby okay. says I'm stronger than her. Gabby says you're stronger than her? Uh, nope. Here, you guys go on one side. Wait, I don't want to get wet. I'm going on the side. Now. Okay, three, two, one, go. Oh, okay, one more time. One, two, three, go. Woo, it's a flood. <laughs> so it's Friday afternoon, and we are done school, and we are done all the stuff we have to get done. We have a really busy weekend. I already told you it starts today. We're going out tonight. We're gonna take you guys with us. It's Friday night, so we always take you with us. But right now, for this minute, when I have nothing else planned, I'm riding my horse around the property. Wet and gross out there as it is. I'm riding her, taking her for a spin, which makes it sound really bad. Like, if you take your horse for a spin, you think it's like a, and like a motorcycle or a bike. When I say I'm taking her for a spin, I mean I'm taking her out for exercise. Taking her out to see the view. I'm taking her out to see the world, to experience things so she doesn't get bored. It's all about for her and a little bit for me. So today we had to wrangle us some ponies. All right, so all of our ponies are gonna get some love. All of them. I think Penny recognizes in Sophia a kindred spirit. Like she oh, recognizes God. a kindred spirit. You guys feel the way same, think the same, love the same. Yes, you do. 
Yes, you do. See, Penny loves to have her eyes rubbed. Scratch, scratch my eyes. Okay, let's get ready for a ride, Penny Pickle. bucked me she bucked me and there was only one big oh. mistake that happened one big mistake let me tell you what happened so I rode her around the arena a few times outside then we rode around the property once I got Gabby to walk Gracie in uh, behind me then we rode around again Penny and I what's the matter you're okay and I got Gabby to walk ride in front of me so then I got Gabby to walk Gracie in front of me got her to run with Gracie got her to slow down with Gracie like I got her to do all this stuff because that's what we're working on we're working on trail riding like I want to trail ride her so you know the hill where we went around and then there's the hill where the girls have cantered her up the hill so uh, we went around the hill the second time Gracie was in front of us and Gabby said, I'm going to run her up the hill. And I said, okay, that's great. And I'm going to keep going straight and walk her calmly around the property. Everything was going great. Gabby started running up the hill with Penny, with Gracie. Penny didn't care. She wasn't paying attention. She didn't care. Uh, and then all of a sudden she just caught, like, she just realized that Gracie was going faster and she got spooked. She spooked and spun to the side. And I was, so I think I pulled this is the only thing i mean that's probably, probably what happened but i was slow trying to slow her down i like flung to the side a little not dangerously and i said whoa and i pulled her back a little and she was just scared like she just got super spooked scared and she was like get off quick and she bucked and then she bucked again and i went like if i didn't have that horn i wouldn't have had anything to hold on to but it did the saddle go up i think so oh, the thing with penny though is that even when she bucks she's never mean like she doesn't have a mean bone in her body she was scared and she did she bucked twice and then as soon as she like it was like the thing with penny is that sometimes she comes out of her senses like when she when penny is scared she doesn't think properly and i've learned this about her from the very first day that i tried her and i think that that's normal with most horses usually she's sane but when she gets scared she reacts she's reactive so anyway she bucked twice and then all of a sudden, and then I screamed, which was what I think I did wrong. I definitely, I just did a one scream. Ah! And then Gabby stopped running and looked at me. <laughs> Sophie came out of the barn. And as soon as she heard me scream, she's like, whoa. And then she stopped and did listen to me perfectly again. Sometimes I feel like God gives us experiences that he knows that we can handle to show us that we can handle them. And he gives them to, them, to us in measured doses. Anyways, I managed it. I handled it. I was not scared at all. That's the thing about this horse. Like, I just was laughing hysterically. I was just laughing. So then we walked right back around there again. And I made Gabby go behind me. I made Gabby go beside me. I made Gabby go in front of me. And when we got to that scary thing, that scary part where she had the issue the last time, she tensed right up and I started singing. When I sing to her, it is the best ride that we have. Every best ride that we've ever had is when I'm singing to her. And then we, I sang her all the way back to the barn. But it was fun. It was a really fun ride. I feel exhilarated when I ride her. To the point that I knew it was time to end the lesson because we went back around to the part where she spooked and and she did fabulously and she listened to me and she was good. I knew it was time to end the lesson, but I could ride her forever. Like I never get scared and want to get off of her. Like that's how amazing she is. Don't you know that you're beautiful?